Hi everyone, it's Liz here. Thank you for joining me today. I will be sharing my tutorial on how I made this cute little mini junk journal using a paper bag for the cover and some digitals from Tracy Fox's shop. So here I'm showing you a couple paper bags just so you can see the difference in sizes. Um, it depends on what size of bag you have, how you will change that to, um, to your measurements. But the bag I've selected is a little over 11 inches long and then it's about 5 inches um, wide and this is when I'm putting the paper bag on its side. So as you can see I have a little template that I like to cut out and this is to cut out the pieces that I will be using for the fronts and back covers. Um, so as you can see the bag is facing up which means the bottom of the bag was facing me. I fold the bottom over and bring the other side to meet so that it is um, even on the other side. So I'll show you that again because this is what makes a little flip out and it gives you the, um, the shape. So again, it's the bottom of the paper bag is facing up. I fold it right over where that line is and then bring the other side to match. As you can see, this is where I'll have the cover. Probably this is the section I've selected for the cover, but you could make your cover wherever you would like. So again, I'm using the digitals from Tracy Fox. I will link the video of the completed journal in case you have not seen it so you can see how it's going to look. And I'll be using these pieces to add to my mini journal. So the first thing I do is I cut up my pages that I'll be using for the covers, the front, the back, etc. And I've just used my template, which is that yellow piece of paper you see up above to measure out the size that I will be using. And I love to prepare myself when I'm doing this so I have everything ready to go. So when I start the process, I'm just, just gluing things and adding them uh, because they've already been pre-cut. I also like to have um, the pages or the pieces of paper that I've selected that cover the paper bag that leave a slight edge around the the image itself because I like to see the back of the paper bag peek through a little bit especially when I'm using a brown paper bag um, because I, it seems like it already kind of matches the colors that I select. So again using my template I'm not giving you measurements for that because it really depends on your bag but again my bag is about 11 a little over 11 inches and um, 5 inches tall in the way that I will be using it and the reason I'm showing you this is because that's what's going to help you with the signatures that you'll be adding later as well. So now I'll just be gluing the fronts and back covers, the inside covers. I'll add some music here and there when I don't have to, um, you know, give you information about something. So for gluing my covers front and back, I like to use tacky glue or double-sided tape. I don't use that school glue because I find that it is mostly water-based and it starts to warp my papers and my paper bag. And so I prefer to use the tacky glue or the double-sided tape when I'm adding the covers to the paper bags. So here I'm grabbing a brush to spread out the glue. Uh, sometimes I like to make sure it's nice and even and I spread it out so that um, there's no little lumps or um, you know little air bubbles kind of left wherever I am gluing. You can do this with your finger, you can use an old gift card uh, plastic piece, um, anything that will help you kind of flatten it and really adhere it nicely to the surface works as well. So 
So now I'm going to start gluing the pieces to the inside of the bag and I also like to make sure I have a couple of little choices to use for this process. Now because of that little notch that the paper bag has, I like to add the glue directly onto the paper bag at this stage. This way I'm making sure that I'm not gluing the page to the entire paper bag on the other side and then I won't be able to open it. Now if you did not want to open the paper bag then you would just skip that step and then just make sure that um, you glued everything together and you would add glue to the inside um, pocket there of the paper bag so that you wouldn't have an opening in the front like I'm going to leave. Again, I used my brush to spread it out as evenly as I can and I'll just continue to, to add the pages. So here I'll be adding a secret little tuck spot in the back of the bag. Um, just add a little bit of glue to the top and bottom and you've got this little secret uh, tuck spot on the inside. And then I just, I will continue to just add my pieces of paper. I'll probably be adding some pockets in the center and the flip out part of the bag. And um, I'll just keep adding little bits and pieces as I go. So this is the decorating stage now of my paper bag. And in the next video, I will be showing you how I put the signatures in, why I choose to put them where I put them, and then you'll see the finished product. So my camera stopped recording, but I added that little pocket here, which is part of the kit. Um, I just added it to the center. And now I'll be adding another secret little pocket to this back flip out. And that is, I'll be using this little postcard and then I'll be cutting it in two so I can have a little secret pocket if you want it to be a secret pocket and if not, you can just make it an add pocket to the back. So I'll show you how I do that. Now for the bottom piece of this pocket, make sure that you only put glue to three sides of the bottom piece so that you actually have the opening at the top. So I'll be adding my glue to the three edges, the two sides and the one bottom so that I'll have the space to put in the little pocket in the top. And when I add this to the top portion of um, the postcard that I cut out, I will be um, making it look like it's one postcard that there really is not much difference um, or that I have cut into it and if I wanted to have a little secret pocket there I could um, but um, I'll be adding a little um, something in there maybe a little tag to show that there is a pocket. So I've decided to pull some pieces together, uh, some Tim Holtz pieces and um, just a couple of little things that I might use like some washi tape, etc. And this is just for decorative purposes. Also, I might be making a little pocket out of this and um, I just wanted to show you the little bits and pieces that I'm thinking I will be um, adding to it as well. So I decided I like for this part, I like this piece of scrapbook paper, which I think goes really well with it. So I'll just be gluing that on that part. And again, I just cut that to size. As you can see here, I've just added it to the, um, I guess the flip out part of the journal. And I just, I really love the design. I think this is a page from me and my big ideas, one of those uh, paper packs. So 
Uh, I'm just loving how it's turning out. So again, you can use anything to decorate these and just really have fun with it. You know, add your pockets where you want, your tuck spots. Um, this is just where you get to play with it. Um, and I will be showing you a little later how I add the uh, signatures. That's probably going to be in a separate video because this one is running a little long. Um, so here I've, uh, I've decided I'm going to use this piece from Tim Holtz as a little um, tuck spot. And then, so then we've got, you know, three different pockets on the sides that um, this little mini will have. And I love these tiny little ones that she's designed. Look how gorgeous they are. So that's going to be, you know, sticking out of this little pocket. And then I'll add something here, maybe a tag. Um, and yeah, I'll just uh, let you watch my process of adding some fun elements to it. So I really like this little tag that I think I'm going to add um, to the front there. A little label, I should say, and I'll make it into a tuck spot. So I'm running out of time here, you guys. I think I'll come back and show you the uh, way that I bind the pages inside, the pages that I use, and how to bind it. If you're interested, check out the second video. I will link it below. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you're enjoying this tutorial.